Hey guys, it's Caitlin and Kayla. And today we are going to show you how to make a frozen mint julep. Is that how you say it? Julep? Julep. Julep. Frozen mint julep. Julep. Just in time for the Kentucky Derby. Woo! Let the races begin! <laughs> this is real. Okay, so what you're going to need is some peach sorbet. I used to work in an ice cream factory. <laughs> factory <laughs> explains a lot. Also called Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> some bourbon. Woo! And some mint. And then some ice too. And what we have is a nifty little personal size blender for your enjoyment. So first what you're going to do to make your frozen mint julep is take your peach sorbet and put it into your blender. How many mint leaves should they add? The recipe calls for 10. This <laughs> real. Adjust it to your minty taste buds preferences. <laughs> and then you're gonna take your bourbon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shot, 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 shots. This one's for Caitlin. <laughs> and then you're going to add shot of that. And I would recommend starting with one shot and then you can always add a little bit more if you want it to be stronger. So then put your lid on and let her rip. it into some frothy goodness. Take it off. If you have one of the personal size blenders, you could just take this right on the go, pop a straw in it. But today we're going to do the dignified thing and have it in a glass. Sharing is caring today. So then once you blend it and pour it into your cup, you have a nice little frozen mint julep. Is that how you say it? Julep? Julep. Cheers! Surreal. Nice, refreshing, minty. It's good. Cocktail perfect for your Kentucky Derby party. Really? If you aren't a fan of bourbon, don't be afraid to try this drink. I'm not, and I think it tastes good. Yeah, just put a little bit less, or if you're a huge fan of it, add a little bit more. So, enjoy! Off to the races! Cheers! 